Hi, in this video, we are going to continue the creation of this website. This is a list of suggestions how you should use this video. The notes for this video can be found here at this URL, which is loaded here. And um, so this is where we stopped. We created a couple of folders in CTAM Web Design 2018, and the index.psd file is in this folder. So let us quickly open up the file and that is what we create the guy so let's zoom in to the L the, to the um, to here and you can switch on and off the guide by clicking here okay so before we move on, we want to create a couple of um, um, folders or groups to group our visual elements so it's easier to manage. So let's select the move to first so that we don't do anything strange and then go to the file information. And we are going to create all the groups under XXL because the things we are going to create is under this XL canvas. Okay. So let's click the button here. To create a group, we are going to create one, two, three, four, five, five groups. And let us rename them by sorry, by double clicking on them. By the, let's call this background. Yes, that's, that's another background. There's a background group and a background layer here. Let's just don't mix them. Double click on the text. Make sure you double click on the text, not other places. Then you change this one. So you have curtain, content, middle navigation, title and top navigation and background and make sure you select the background we are going to do some work here to create some rectangles with bevel effect so to to add some texture to the page okay so first let us choose our rectangle tool here and make sure that there's no stroke okay there's no stroke for the rectangle tool and the fill for the fill um choose the color for the fill oh choose the foreground color uh, for the foreground color use the magic wand tool and just choose the background so magic wand tool choose the background so when you create your rectangle your fill should be your foreground color and it should be a solid fill of course okay all right, and um, we are going to uh, draw two uh, rectangles. So when you draw this, basically your fill is against is the same as your background. You actually don't see the fill. So that's the whole idea. So let me zoom in a little bit here. Yeah, that's not good. Okay, so the first rectangle. Is going to be from here to here. Okay, let's see. I don't, I think it's a little bit too wide. Should be six six. Hi, it's okay. X should be zero. Yep, that's exactly the same, I think. Yep. Okay. So that's the property. Let me switch it off. All right. So that is your rectangle one. Okay. And I'm going to switch off the switch off the guide, so you can actually see the rectangle one. All right, I have no stroke, that is correct. 
and I'm going to attach a effect to it, a style. So press the FX sign here, and I'm going to attach a bevel effect here. Uh, bevel. Okay, so this is the bevel effect, and um, as you can see, the effect is already applied, but that's not exactly what I want. Okay, I want a, I want an inner bevel, smooth, 70%. You can change it if you want, you know, just make sure that it's 70%. Um, size is 2, softness is 3. And the light comes from 90 degrees from the, the top. Okay? And do not use global light. If you use global light, you, next time you change things, you know, this may be a factor. So do not use global light. And the rest is pretty standard. Do not change. So in the bevel, 72.3, smooth, 90 degrees. Do not use global light. And then you say, okay. All right, let me choose the. If you want to see what's going on, you can do a select, deselect. No, cannot. Let me choose the move tool. So you deselect it, and then you see what the bevel looks like. Save your work. And look at the. Guide again. Now we are ready to create another effect, okay? Um, before we create another effect, let's rename this rectangle one to rectangle bottom. And we're going to create another rectangle. This one is in the middle here. So let's see rectangle two, draw from here to here. Again, I think it's not very accurate. So let's change this to one, three, six, eight. Height and height is okay, I guess. The, the X is wrong. X is zero. Actually, if it's not extremely accurate, it doesn't really matter because we um, just want to see the effect so that later we can. Oh, sorry, 1366. That's why it's not accurate. All right, now, now it's exactly accurate. So 13660, feel and no stroke. Okay, let's switch it off. Now let me switch off the guide again. All right, now, um, instead of creating the effect, I think I can just drag this over here. So you duplicate the same effect. Mm, no. That's a move. Let me see if it's control, control drag. No. Um, let me try that again. Alternate. Yep, alternate drag. Okay, sorry. So let's say I want to Duplicate the effect. Okay, I want to duplicate the if um, duplicate the effect from. Um, I want to copy the effect from this layer to this layer. So instead of creating the whole thing over again, of course you can. You can do alternate drag. Okay. Of course you can always select this and then go and do the effect again, but that's just too much work. So I'm just going to use my move tool. And I'm going to um, slightly move to just to move, just to prevent I do anything wrong. So press the alternate key, alternate key, and drag this over. So you duplicate exactly the same effect. So if you double click on this effect here, you can actually look at the effect. This is exactly the same effect that we just copied. Okay. And then you rename this to rectangle middle. Okay. 
All right, that's a good place to stop. We created the texture of the two rectangles. So later, when you put other visual elements, you will look good. Let me switch on the switch on the guys and do a save. Sometimes it hangs, and that is a good place to stop for this video. In the next video, we are going to draw the top banner. Okay. Thanks for watching.